what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to be talking about scream 7 in this video here today and once again pointing the finger at the character of sydney prescott as the title suggests we're going to go over how the franchise can end with sydney prescott and how we can quite literally ensure that it does or at least make it make it a more possible reality but scream 7 is unlikely to be the final film in this franchise we're just going to pretend that it is the narrative that i know that is popular among fans like myself who grew up with sydney prescott's story in the og trilogy before 2008 came along and paved the way for where we are today is that this franchise needed to end with sydney prescott we aren't going to be discussing how we creatively make that happen because i've done that countless times we're just going to examine how we literally outside of creative can 100 percent make it a more likely possibility and it's a very simple thing we did it in 2011 according to dimension films with screen 4 so a few of you already know what i'm getting at i even put out a tweet about this as much as you want the series to end with sydney prescott the biggest way for us to make that a reality would be to simply just not show up to theaters for scream 7. what do i mean well i think any informed person that has studied what leads to these franchises growing are there is is there successful box offices if you show up and watch scream 7 in theaters you are actively making sure that scream as a franchise does not end with sydney prescott likely halloween didn't end with Lori strode we have a tv show on the way and more michael myers is going to keep kicking without jamie lee curtis but the argument with scream is that sydney is the draw and not ghostface i would say that's just a deeply emotionally charged and misguided opinion Ghostface is just as much of a draw to the IP as the characters we know and love. I'm sure I'm not the only one who grew up hearing Ghostface referred to as Scream. That alone speaks volumes about the costume's influence related to this IP being profitable. You have Child's Play that still exists even though the story has drifted away from Andy Barkley. Yes, it's circled back to Andy Barkley, but the fact of the matter is it's remained upright without Andy Barkley. Why can't Scream do the same thing without Sidney Prescott? If Sidney Prescott never returned, Ghostface would be enough to warrant a crowd showing up just as long as those involved put together a killer marketing campaign that appeals to the general public. In short, like I stated, if you believe Scream 7 or that Scream as a franchise needs to end with Sydney Prescott, do not watch Scream 7 in theaters if she's back. I know her being back is gonna make you wanna go out and see it. And yes, I myself creatively can understand and agree that it should end with Sydney Prescott. But to me, that was movies ago. That was opportunity. We had several opportunities to do that in the past. And now what they keep demonstrating is that they want this IP to exist beyond her. But you have a fandom or at least members of the fandom that are fighting against that. They're saying, oh, no, don't do that. Don't don't tell us stories about Sam Carpenter or anybody else that's new. Just tell us stories about Sydney over and over over and over and over again that's not how this ip is going to remain profitable it's just not what's going to happen over time is that sydney as a character is going to grow very dull she's going to grow very uneventful and it's just going to be predictable movie after predictable movie after predictable movie because she's going to have unlimited plot armor and then you're going to end up with a situation where if they finally do kill her you're going to have that section of fans that say oh i can't believe they finally killed her they shouldn't have done that that's one of the worst creative decisions in the history of the horror genre meanwhile you couldn't learn your lesson and learn to just let her ride off into the sunset the character again i've stated in many videos was not created to be a punching bag for ghostface there there was a clear arc that was laid out for her on a path to peace why can't she get that why does she have to have that in the in the sense of the franchise needing to end with it if they're clearly demonstrating they don't want the franchise to end by constantly making movies it's time to close the door on some of these characters sydney prescott's at the top of the list because she served her purpose Ghostface itself within the world has grown beyond Sidney Prescott, which leaves the door open and leaves opportunities for the world and the franchise that it exists in to explore stories that don't have to do with Sidney Prescott. Now, as someone who, again, is not divorced from reality, I understand that millions are going to show up for Scream 7 and Sidney Prescott's involvement would appeal to casual fans that would love to see her back. I'm not here to discredit Sidney as a draw, but the IP has proven that it can exist without her. If an opportunity comes around for us to end the franchise with her, all you have to do is stay at home. That's the best way to ensure that it will end with her. 
Project X Entertainment has also made it clear. This is last year. They could have had some shakeups after this Melissa debacle. But Project X Entertainment already made it clear that they have plans to keep Ghostface around as long as this IP is profitable. So simply don't watch it. If you watch Scream 7, wait for it to come out on digital or something. But showing up at the box office, if Sydney Prescott and F. Campbell is back and you believe it should end with her, you're on the t you're on the end of the stick that is helping ensure that that's not the reality. Because if it's profitable, you're going to get a Scream 8. You're going to get a Scream 9. You're going to get a lot of Scream movies. Just how It's just how the cookie crumbles. Look at Transformers. I think Transformers is one of the worst franchises we have right now in the modern era after that first movie while i can say that i find most of them entertaining and watchable if i'm gonna sit down and review them there's only a there's only one or two maybe three that i would sit down and say are good movies you're gonna end up in that situation with scream at some point and it's just not gonna include sydney prescott at some point quantity is gonna be put over quality that's just how that's gonna go that seems to be the natural pro the natural process for a lot of these franchises unfortunately they start valuing qu quantity over quality then when it starts hurting their pockets then they want to shift focus back to the quality S at some point sydney prescott's just going to be gone she's going to be gone from this franchise she's not the only story that can be told she's just the preferred story for nostalgic reasons and because that's what we are comfortable with and while the fandom keeps going back and forth over whether sydney should be in this franchise anymore or not the general public is going to keep on showing up for scream 9 through 12 or whatever number it is at that point which doesn't include sydney prescott because the general public isn't that obsessed with the character as we are a lot of people delude themselves into thinking that they are and they're not yeah they can be they can be fans of the character the way we are but they're not sitting around on twitter making posts about her like how i do and how some of you do and a lot of people do and showing this love and admiration for her day in and day out they have a life they have things that they're doing that don't revolve around sydney prescott they have other interests they don't care about her like that they're gonna say oh nev campbell's not back oh oh well two tickets to scream nine please because the trailer or whatever it was that attracted them to it made them interested and yeah that's going to be a a blow but not a killing blow to their interest because they just don't care as much as we do but a lot of people they don't see that they don't understand that and that's why at some point maybe the sad truth is we need to stop running from the fact that this franchise can and will exist without sydney prescott as long as it remains profitable just fasten your seatbelt and get ready for those screen movies where she's not present because they're coming let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video